Hello, this is Hana. Uh, we'll try to go to kindergarten's teacher's guide. Lesson one, the golden rule. We will uh, just reading references Matthew chapter 7, 1 through 12, the desire of ages. Thoughts from the Mount of Blessing, page 1. To 123 through 137. The monthly theme Jesus calls us to serve Memory others. Memory verse So, in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. Matthew 7 12. The Bible lesson at a glance. Jesus is preaching the Sermon on the Mount full of uh, important lessons for people then as well as us today. Finding fault with others is condemned by Jesus. He talks about uh, trying to remove a speck in another's eyes when there is a plank in your own. He speaks of God's generous love and the rule of his kingdom. Do to others what you would have them do to you. This is a lesson about service. God's generous love inspires us to treat others as we would want to be treated. This usually involves an act of kindness. Objectives. The children will know that true Christians serve others and uh, don't judge them. Fear that every is special to Jesus. Respond by caring about other people and trying to understand how they fear. Teacher enrichment. The Sermon of the Mount, though given especially to the disciples, was spoken in the hearing of the multitude. The disciples play place was always next to Jesus, with a feeling that something more than user might be expected. They now pressed about their master. They believed that the kingdom was soon to be established. As the people sat upon the green hillside, awaiting the words of the divine teacher, their hearts were filled with thoughts of future glory. There were scribes and Pharisees who looked forward to the dry when they should have dominion over the hated Romans and possess the riches and splendor of the world's great empire. The poor peasants and fishermen hoped to hear the assurance that there were wretched hovers. The scanty food, the life of toil and fear of want were to be exchanged for mansions or plenty and days of easy. In the place of the, the one coarse garment which was their covering by day and their blanket at night, they hoped that Christ would give them the rich and costly uh, robes of their conquerors. All hearts drilled with the proud hope that Israel was soon to be honored before the nations as the chosen of the Lord and the Jerusalem exalted as the head of a universal kingdom. Christ disappointed the hope of worldly greatness. In the Sermon on the Mount, he thought to he sought to undo the work and that had been wrought wrought by false education and to give his hearers a right conception of his kingdom and of his own character. The Desire of Ages, page 298 and 299. The message is Jesus helps me treat others as I want to be treated. Uh, the other, the... Room decorations. 
This quarter is about Jesus. Use basic items to represent the item, uh, times in which he lived. Create a flat roof to house from a large appliance box. Cover one classroom wall with pa uh, paper and paint a green hillside. During the quarter, you can add sheep a lake, a cross, and a tomb to the mural. Program uh, overview lesson. Welcome the minute ongoing activities. Greet students and at door. Uh, here, pl pleased, troubled, uh, materials needed none. Uh, re Readiness of to ten or eyes on him, giant hawk, eye drawing paper, mark, markers, cray, crayons or pencils, Bible, two sheets of uh, newspaper for each child, tape scissors, uh, arm pattern for giant hawk, see illustration on um, page 13 Bibles, prayer and praise. Up to 10, follow shift, songbooks, mission, offering, prayer, and sing for joy, he is our song, uh, children's mission, a box covered with gold paper, and uh, experiencing the story memory verse. Up to 20, Bible lesson, wooden board, chalkboard, chalk, or five pieces of yellow paper paper, marker, tape, Bibles, applying the lesson up to 15, the way of uh, the rule, the way of the golden rule, stripes of gold or yellow paper market, marker, uh, sharing the lesson, applying the lesson, sharing the lesson up to 15 minutes, golden spark, gold or yellow paper, scissors, pens, pencils, or markers. So uh, I, we have to I think about prayer and praise may be used at any time during the program. The program one is prayer and praise, two is Bible lessons, three is applying Bible, uh, applying the lesson, sharing the lesson, like that. And then teaching the lesson. Welcome, welcome students at the door. Ask how their week has been, what they are pleased, troubled about. Encourage them to share any experiences from last week's lesson study. Have them begin, begin the readiness activity of your choice. One, readiness. Readiness activities. Select the activity most appropriate for your situation. You need the large, simple drawing of an eye, paper, markers, crayons, or pencils, Bible. So, A, all eyes on him. Uh, post a large but, uh, but simple drawing of an eye. Ask each child to copy it on their paper, they should color the iris the same color as theirs. Yeah, there's, there are uh, uh, different eye colors uh, on each of our children. So that's uh, most of Korean uh, children has brown and black eyes. But the, the other country has blue and the light brown like that. Do briefing. Debriefing, yeah, ask what color are your eyes? What color are your eyes? Have children share their eye drawings? Have you ever had a speck of uh, uh, sawdust or saw dust or something else in your eye? How did it feel in heart? In heart? In our lesson today, we'll talk some more about about getting something in our eye. The lesson is about how we treat others. Let's find out how that should be from Matthew 7, 12. Our memory verse read aloud. Our message for today is Jesus helps me 
treat others as I want to be treat treated. Say that with me. Mm, be giant hawk. Uh, each give each child two sheets of newspaper and some tape. We show them how to tape the newspapers together to make a large sheet. Have them draw giant arms on the newspaper. If possible, make a pattern of the arms at least 30 in 75 centi centimeter wide out of heavy poster board. See illustration on page 13 for the children to trace around. Have them cut out the arms and walk around giving each other, each other a gentle uh, hug with the newspaper arms. The gripping. Uh, when they are seated again, ask what does a hug mean to you? Someone cares about me. How can you show someone else that you care about them? Help them, hug them, speak kindly, be respe respectful, respectful, pray for them, etc. Let's find them, read our memory verse. Matthew chapter 7, 12, together, read aloud. Today's lesson will tell us uh, how Jesus wants us to treat others, and that is what our message is about. Jesus helps me uh, treat others as I want to be treated. Say that with me. Jesus helps me treat others as I want to be treated. Uh, let's uh, prayer, prayer and praise, Pal fellowship, uh, uh, report the students' joy and sorrows, pleased, pleased and troubled, as reported to you at the door as appropriate. Allow time for sharing experience for, from last week's lesson study and review the memory verse. Acknowledge any birthdays, special events, or achievements. Give a special warm greeting to all visit visitors. Suggested songs seek it first. Sing for joy, we are his hands. Make me a servant is our song. Pass it on, he is our song. Uh, theme song for the month uh, with these words. It only takes a spark to get a kind act going, and soon all those around can warm up in its growing. For Jesus made the golden rule once I experienced it. I will give, I will be kind to everyone. I wanna pass it on. I want to pass it pass it on. Mission. Ask if you did not know that Jesus gives you a happier life, would you want someone to come and tell you? Yes, helping others learn about Jesus is treating them the way you would want to be treated. Use a story time children's mission. You need a box covered with gold paper, write the golden rule on it. Offering, say, uh, knowing Jesus makes us happy. We share our offerings so that others will know Jesus and be happy too. Prayer, where all can see, make a list. Make a list uh, uh, of blessings and children say that they would like to receive. Then, in keeping with the spirit of the golden rule draw from that list to pray for specific people the children name we recommend uh, we recommend writing the words uh, when uh, where all can see those words will be used as uh, as a theme song at, for lesson one through four Mm. Two, Bible lesson. Experiencing story. You need wooden board. When you say I, 
they respond by pointing to their eyes, say, close your eyes and try to imagine that you are hiking up a, up a hill with Jesus. And the disciples, you are looking uh, for a place where many, many people can sit down. What does your place look like? There is grass, rocks, a few trees, and a wide space of uh, space for lots of people. What kind of people are present? Poor people, leaders, people, uh, parents, children, rich people, all kinds of people. Let's look at, let's look at the scene through the eyes of a boy about your age. We will call him Ephraim. Have the children open their eyes as you tell the lesson story, read or tell the story. Ephraim's Ephraim got up. Ephraim got up just before daylight and worship and wondered if he would be pulling weeds in the garden all day. But just then his father said, Today we are going to spend all day listening to Jesus. Abraham was happy. He had heard that Jesus was, Messiah, was the Messiah. He really, he really wanted to hear that what Jesus had to say. Jesus was healing people uh, by the seesaw. More and more people kept crowding, crowding onto the beach. Abraham and his family hurried to find a place. They watched as some rulers arrived and frowned at the crowd. Jesus began to climb the hill away from the beach. The people pushed along behind him until they came to a quiet, quiet, quiet meadow. Jesus uh, sat down near a tree. His disciples stayed near him. All around him, people sat quietly. People sat quietly as he began to speak. Uh, the rulers stood in the shade of a near, uh, nearby tree. Sit down. Never. Their robes might get dirty. Besides, they thought we are better than the people sitting here. Jesus began to speak. He said, make the kingdom of God first, first in your life. Uh, Ephraim thought, the kingdom of God without, uh, the kingdom of God, where is what does that mean? Yeah, sorry. Like, uh, what does that mean? Don't judge other people and you won't be judged yourself. Abraham thought of the rulers standing under the tree. Those men believed they were better than the poor. Abraham wondered, will Jesus' kingdom include poor people? Will there be a place for me and my family? Then Jesus taught a lesson about finding fault and judging people. Jesus said, um, why do you look at us? Back of uh, so so dust in your brother's eye, children point to eye, uh, and pay no attention to the plank. Plank in your own eye, children point to eye. Um, children point to the wooden board you are displaying. How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye? Children point to eye when all the time there is a plank in your own. Point to plank. You hypocrite, you hypocrite pretender, pretender. For you hypocrite pretender me. First take the plank out of your own eye. Children point to eye. 
and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Yeah. Your brother's eye. Where is your brother's eye? Yeah. Children point to eye. I'm sorry. Children point to speck out of your eye. Children point to eye. When all the when all the time there is a plank in your own. Point to plank. You hypocrite. Pretend they first take the plank out of your own eye. Children point to eye. And then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Children point to eye. Abraham grinned as he imagined how it how it would took would look to have a big plank plank in his eye. Everyone was uh, laughing, laughing. Everyone was laughing except some of the rulers. Jesus spoke of God's love. Then he announced the uh, rule of his kingdom. So in everything to do others, what you would have them do to you. Abraham looked around. Some people were still smiling. Others were not. He understood now in Jesus, in Jesus' kingdom, everyone would treat, everyone would treat kingdom other one, not every, I'm sorry. At Jesus' kingdom, everyone would treat everyone else fairly. They would not find a, a fault with each, or with each other. Instead, they would want to Jesus to help them remove their own force and help them live to serve others. Deep reaping. Oh, deep reaping. Ask. Deep reaping. Ask what did Jesus mean when he said that we should take the plank out of our own eyes before uh, looking for the speck in the eyes of others. Be, be more concerned about my force than someone else's. In Jesus' story, which is bigger, the plank that is in my eye or the speck that is in the other person's eye, the plank, who has the bigger problem or fault, me? Remember that when you judge others, you may have an even have an even bigger fault than they do. It is like having a plank in uh, your eye. Our message can be our guide. Let's say it together. Jesus helps me treat others as I want to be treated. As I want to be treated. Uh, memory verse. Uh, I'll write the memory verse. On the chalkboard or sheets of paper taped together, taped together as shown in the box. So in everything, do to others what you would have them to do you. Uh, Matthew chapter seven twelve. Divide the class into five groups. Each group, uh, each group caught crutches in front of one section of the verse as you point to the first group they quickly stand say their portion of the verse uh, and uh, crutch and crutch it down again crutch continue pointing to each group in other uh, in order have groups change places and repeat adapted from Christy Christy weird the big book of Bible games Ventra you need chalkboard chalk or pipe five pieces of yellow paper marker, take Bible study, ask the children to find the Bible text and answer the following questions. Adults assist assist as needed. One, how did Jesus treat people? How did Jesus treat people? 
uh, including his enemies, Matthew chapter 5, 44 to why did Jesus speak uh, so firmly to some of the people who were listening, Matthew chapter 7, 4 and 5. Three, how does God treat us when we pray to him? Matthew 7, 7 through 11. Four, since we are part of God's family, how will we treat everyone we meet? Matthew 7, 12, try to say at least some of this from memory. Debriefing, ask uh, how do you feel about the God who treats you so well? If lo uh, I love and appreciate him and want to make him happy by uh, treating others as he treats me, uh, is, it always, is it always easy to treat others kindly? Why? You, who will help you to treat others well, even when you don't feel like doing so? Let's answer with today's message. Jesus helps me treat others as I want to be treated. Uh, applying the lesson, you need a stripes of uh, stripes of gold or yellow paper, one inch, uh, uh, six six inches, two centi and 15 centimeter marker. Applying the lesson, the way of the golden rule, give each child a golden stripe of uh, paper. Uh, say, they, this is a golden rule, let's write the golden rule on it. Do to others what you would have them do to you. Matthew ch chapter 7, verse 12. Let's Think about that as we look at some situations. Prepare, uh, prepare some examples from the children's everyday life. Uh, give them an appro uh, opportunity to role play and apply the golden rule to each situation. Examples one, a new boy joins the po uh, Pathfinder club. He is shy and doesn't know anyone. How can you apply the golden rule to help him feel welcome and accepted? Two, someone is gossiping about one of your friends. How can you apply the golden rule? Three, someone who is not good at sports is chosen to be on your team. The team is unhappy about the choice because it reduces their chance of winning. How can you apply the golden rule as time allows? Continue by making your own suggestions. Uh, debrief debriefing, ask, have you ever been unkind to someone? Yes, can't remember, etc. Why is it sometimes hard to live by the golden rule? Because we are naturally selfish. That is why we need Jesus' help. Who will help you do what is not natural for you to do? Let's read Philippians chapter 4, 13. I can do everything through him. Christ who gives me strength. What have you learned today about the golden rule? Accept, uh, accept answers. Uh, how will it change the way you treat your friends this week? Let's say our message together. Jesus helps me treat of uh, uh, Jesus helps me treat others as I want to be treated. As I want to be treated. Four section. Sharing the lesson, golden spark. Ask the children what is a spark. Something small, bright, and burning, uh, burning that comes from a fire or could start a fire. Uh, help the children draw a spark on the golden or yellow paper and cut it out. Have each child uh, hold their spark and uh, sit in a circle. Teach them. Teach them the following song, Pass It One, He Is Our Song, and with new words see below as they sing 
have them pass the golden sparks they made to the child on their right and receive another spark from the child sitting on their left. Uh, keep singing until all the children have their own sparks back. If only takes a spark to get a kind act going and soon all those around can warm up in its glowing. For Jesus made the golden rule once I experience it. I will be kind to everyone. I want to pass it one. It's a really good uh, lyric. Boy. Ask the children to write on their spark the name of a person for whom they will do something special and uh, unexpected in the coming week. You need gold and yellow paper. Debriefing, ask, have you, have you thought of something kind that you will do for the person whose name is written on your spark? Yes or not yet, etc. Who has plans? Um, accept responses. Who, what do you plan to do? Accept uh, responses. What will Jesus help you to do all week? Let's say our message together. Jesus helps me treat others as I want to be treated. Uh, closing. Invite the children to form a prayer circle. Pray that God will help them treat others the way they want to be treated. More last one. Student matter, material, student material. The golden rule, Repre uh, reference Matthew chapter 7, 1 through 12, the desire of ages, page 298 uh, through 314, 640, thoughts from the Mount of Blessing. Um, memory verse, so in everything to uh, everything do to others what you would have them do to you. Memory verse, so in everything do to others what you would have them to do uh, have them do to you. Matthew chapter 7, 12. The golden rule, Sarah frowned. The other girls in the lunch room were pointing over her and laughing. Why were they always so unkind? Then the thought came to her, what would Jesus do? Uh, and she looked right at those girls and smiled. Jesus uh, thought that we should treat others as we want to be treated. Imagine that a young boy named Ephraim uh, is listening to Jesus speak. Uh, Ephraim got up, to, uh, got up just before daylight. Uh, would he be pulling weeds in the garden today? Then his father spoke, Today we, uh, we will go to listen to Jesus. Abraham was happy. He had heard that Jesus was the Messiah, and he really wanted to hear what Jesus had to say. Jesus was... Mm -hmm. Jesus was... Sorry. Jesus was healing people. Jesus was healing people by the seesaw and the uh, beach was filling up with people. Abraham and his family hurried to find a place. They watched it as some rulers. Watched it as some rulers. Yeah. The uh, rulers arrived. The rulers frowned at the crowd. Jesus began to climb the hill away from the beach. The people pushed along, pushed along behind him until they came to a quiet meadow. Jesus sat down near a tree. His disciples pressed through the crowd to be near him. All around him, people sat quietly as he began to speak. The ruler stood in the shade of a nearby tree. Jesus spoke calmly, but so all could hear, make the kingdom of God first in your life. Abraham thought, the kingdom of God, what does that mean? Don't judge other people and you won't be judged yourself. 
Abraham thought of the rulers who believed they were better than others. He wondered, uh, could it be possible that God cares about humble people? Is there any place in Jesus' kingdom for me and my family? Then Jesus taught a lesson about finding fault and judging people. Jesus said, why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me let me take out the um, let me take out the speck when all the time there is a plank in your own eye or uh, in your own you uh, you hypocrite hypocrite pretender first to take the plank out of your own eye and uh, take on out the plank out of own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye, eyes. Uh, Abraham grinned as he imagined how it would, be, would, book, would look to have a big plank of wood in his eye. Some, uh, everyone was laughing except some of the rulers. Jesus spoke of God's love. Then he announced uh, uh, a rule of his kingdom. So in everything do to others what you would have them do to you. Now every Abraham understood in Jesus' kingdom everyone would treat everyone. Everyone would treat everyone as fairly. They would not find fault with each other. Instead, they would want Jesus to remove their force. People would live to serve others. Um, so, daily activities, Sabbath. If possible, with your family, climb uh, here and read your lesson story. Imagine that you are sitting on he sitting on the hill on which Jesus sat as he preached his sermon. Read Matthew chapter 7, 12 together. Sing together, we are the, his hands. Pray that Jesus will help you not to judge others. Uh, Sunday, read Matthew 7, 1 and 2 for family worship. Then hold the family court as followers. Follows, choose a judge, choose a person to be on trial, dependent, and a person bringing the charges, plaintiff. The plaintiff makes up a story about the dependent, they, they didn't do the dishes, etc. Like that, the dependent must uh, tell why they did or didn't do what they are accused of. The judge strikes the giver, says Matthew, uh, giver, right? Says Matthew, Matthew chapter 7, 1, then says, next case, we need to judge between right and wrong, but leave judging others to God. Read First Samuel 16, seven together monday read matthew 7 through to 5 with your family show with your hands the size sizes of a speck and a plank draw around a ruler on paper at the different measures write your memory verse on it then cut it apart after each word mix the pieces then put them in order to in order use this each day this week tuesday together with your family read the, and discuss how god treats people matthew 7 uh, verse 7 through 11 Fear a stone and a piece of bread about the same size. What is the difference? Would your parents give you a stone when you are hungry? Why would God, would God do any less, any less? Read Matthew chapter 7, 11 again. Mm. So think of uh, someone, think of someone you have treated unfairly. How do you think that person felt? How did you feel? Discuss 
this with your family. Re review your memory verse Wednesday. Read and discuss Matthew chapter 7, 12 for worship. Read about the same idea in Luke chapter 6, uh, verse 31. Have you done a kind act for the person whose name you wrote on the spark you made in Sabbath school or make a spark shaped cut cut out and color it yellow and you uh, use it write on it uh, on the uh, write on write on it uh, write on it the name of someone for whom you will do something kind say your memory verse without help Thursday with your family read in the Bible of someone who treated another person Another person kindly see three uh, second Kings uh, verse chapter five uh, verse one through five and Luke chapter ten thirty through thirty five. Now read about someone who treated another person unkindly. Genesis chapter thirty seven seventeen through twenty four. Matthew chapter. 18 23 through 34 how do you want to treat people say your memory verse in your own words friday use a plank and some uh, sow dust as you tell your lesson story to your family at worship at the at the end say the memory verse together ask your family to write on a paper the names of the five people they have treated fairly this week read the Ephesians chapter 4 32 make a small bonfire from some wooden sticks no real fire place the a paper spark that you made on the bonfire as you sing pass it on he uh, with the following words it takes one it only takes a spark to get a kind act going and soon or it only takes a spark to get a kind act going and soon or those around can warm up in his growing, glowing. For Jesus made the golden rule. Once I experience it, I will be kind to everyone. I want to pass it on. Thank you. If we, uh, I'm, I'm so regret now because uh, I didn't um, give a lesson study for my three children, the only uh, I'm just uh, um, stud study the memory words or just uh, not regularly, but I want to give this chance for my grandson and do sons and daughter, but uh, I don't have I don't know where, but uh, I hope I pray. I try to uh, listen to hear again. This this is lesson one, so I go to lesson thirteen. But uh, every four, we have the four terms in a year, so uh, maybe fifty two or fifty five uh, fifty three lesson here. In so I will try to read all through. And then I will share with my uh, kids or, uh, and other kids too. Please help me, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, see you soon. Bye.